Hey guys, Foley 3 Kids here, and welcome back to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, where today we are reviewing the HVR Gemini. The HVR Gemini gives it the Twin Sanity perk, which means it has a Kimbo with reduced hip spread and the Readiness perk, which uh, gives it increased uh, reload speed when the magazine is empty or low. Sorry. So when your magazine is low, you will reload quicker. But that's. I mean, that's nice, but the main perk of this weapon is Twin Sanity, which allows you to have Akimbo SMGs, which is awesome. This reminds me of the Akimbo UMP-45 from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, just because the HVR in general kind of reminds me of the uh, UMP-45, and it's very fun to use this. In this gameplay you're watching, I actually end up going on a 10 kill streak with this weapon alone and no lethals or tacticals. So that's pretty good, uh, I'd say. I do use phase shift, though, just uh, one time because I had to get away. Here I died, but I think this was, was the start of the streak right around here. So yeah, um, enjoy that gameplay in the background, but I'm going to talk about this. So the reduced hip spread, akimbo and reduced hip spread, um, it's very noticeable that it is pretty easy to get hip fire kills, and you cannot aim down the sights in case you're curious. You have to use this thing at Kimboed. You can't aim down the sights. There's no way to aim down the sights. There's never been in any Call of Duty game. It'd be cool if there was some kind of way to switch to one, but there isn't. So, I mean, if you have the Akimbo attachment, you can't switch back to one. You have to take off the Akimbo attachment outside of the game. But this is basically one of the coolest variants you get. So how do you get this uh, variant? Do you have to open up supply drops? Do you need salvage? Well, no. You can get this pretty much for free, except it will take some time. You will need to level up your Saber Team 7 mission team all the way up to rank 50. Almost got knifed there in that gameplay, too. <laughs> but I ended up killing that guy a couple times. He did knife me once. The funny thing about him knifing me was, before that, I actually played gun game. So I thought that when he knifed me, uh, I was going to be set back, but... <laughs> No, I thought it was gun game for whatever reason. This was free-for-all, by the way. Here he was again, and I killed him again. So anyways, uh, what I was saying is, uh, these Akimbo weapons are very good. The Akimbo HVRs. There was my Merciless right there. But yeah, uh, once you get your mission team up to rank 50, sorry, the Saber Team 7 mission team, you will get this weapon for free. And you'll be able to use it in every class. Once you get your mission team up to level 100, you will get a Mark II variant of this weapon. Which basically means that you'll get 30% uh, more XP per kill with this weapon when you have this particular variant. And you'll have two HVR epic variants. And the thing about the HVR is there is no craftable version of this in the prototype lab. And there never will be, probably. And there w probably might not even ever be another epic Right here, I got so mad I got killed by a micro turret, finally. So how does this perform in zombies? Is it good in zombies? Well, it is pretty good. Especially being one of the weapons you can buy straight off the wall. Here I was on scene 27, sorry. Then I got to scene 28. And uh, my main thing with this weapon is you want to buy the Bang Bangs perk. Because this will increase your fire rate. You might notice a little bit of recoil, but you can tap fire to kind of control that. But you will get so many points using this weapon. And um, the only issue is the ammo. So I would definitely suggest if you have a Fate and Fortune card to get your ammo up, then use that. I would also suggest you definitely, in any situation, want to have Tough Nuff, which is basically Jug from all the other Zombies games. Uh, that'll increase your health. But you also want to pack a punch this weapon because that will also make this very good for those higher rounds. This is the Augur Fury you're watching right here. And I will. I also was lucky enough to get that out of a supply drop. So I will be doing a video about that weapon soon. But we're going to save that for a different video. Overall, if you like to play zombies, if you only like to play zombies, if you like to play multiplayer and you only like to play multiplayer, here's the thing. You have to do this challenge in multiplayer. You can't do it in zombies, obviously. So you will have to go to multiplayer to unlock it. But once you do unlock it, it is unlocked in Zombies, but you will have to unlock the standard HVR first by leveling up, which you probably will have if you like Zombies only anyways. So, this has been Foley3Kids, and I'll see you next time. 
Bye, everybody.